Through four weeks of the NFL season, there's only three teams that are undefeated. The Arizona Cardinals, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Houston Texans. And obviously, all we want to know is which team's going to lose first. Yeah. So this is our game time decision bringing you that. And let's start with the Arizona Cardinals. Eric, obviously the biggest surprise of these teams. And you look at their remaining schedule and what they've been able to accomplish with the defense, kind of playing with fire there. You know, Kevin Cobb comes in, has led them on a couple game-winning drives. How long can the Cardinals last as an undefeated team? Well, I think what we've seen is that they can play up or down to competition depending on the team. I mean, down to Miami, I didn't think it was a, a very great performance in the first half, but then up in, in the, uh, you know, the win over New England. So you know, we can't discount the Rams. We can't discount the Bills who've had a couple good games. The Minnesota Vikings one of their, is on their schedule. They're tough. So I think somewhere along the line, they're, you know, probably in the next three games we're going to see a lot. Whether it's the Rams, the Bills, so, you know, both teams that play well, or the Minnesota Vikings were 3-1. Yeah, and if they don't, if they get past those three games and still undefeated, I don't see them beating the San Francisco 49ers <laughs> in that game. Then you head to the other NFC undefeated team, the Atlanta Falcons, who survived against Carolina. And those first three games, boy, do they look pretty good. The offense, defense, everything's coming together for them. And they got a pretty easy schedule going forward. The way Matt Ryan's playing, I mean, talk about MVP Canada right now. Defense coming together. I mean, this team doesn't look like they have a, a, a real tough game on the schedule coming going forward. No game where you think, okay, they're certainly going to lose this one. You can see them go undefeated well into November. And, of course, that's when the unbeaten season's uh, talk starts. But, yeah, I mean, Redskins, Raiders, very beatable. They've got to buy to prepare for a couple of NFC East games against the Eagles in Dallas. So, you know, I, I don't think any of those teams poses any serious uh, p questions as far as, Yes, they're a better football team, so the Falcons still got to remain viable defensively. That's always been their biggest question leading up to this. I think this game against the Redskins this week is going to be really interesting. Sure. We've seen yeah. Washington put up some points in some games. We know what they have on defense. And RG3, Matt Ryan, that could be a shootout. So those are the type of games that maybe these teams fall in those games. Houston Texans, the only undefeated team in the AFC, and number one in our power rankings here at Pro Football Weekly. But boy, they got a brutal schedule coming up. Now, they, they get a banged up Jets team that just looked terrible last week. But you look going forward after that, it's going to be tough for Houston to keep this role going. Yeah, and I mean, they've got to go to New York. I know it wasn't a problem for San Francisco, but you know the Jets are going to change something up after the blowout on Sunday. You know, two of my, you know, probably five or six top teams in the NFL, the Packers and Ravens, I really think, you know, both of them are or Super Bowl contenders, they're going to pose big threats. So this is a Texas team that I think has wings, and I think they're going to go for a while. But if they lose one of these two games, it wouldn't be shocking whatsoever. So which team is going to stay undefeated the longest? Who do you got? I, I'm going to say the Atlanta Falcons, based on their schedule and based on the fact they've improved defensively. What about you? I'm going to go with Houston Texans. Okay. Go on a limb here. I know it's a tough schedule, yeah. but I think they're the most complete team. I think they got it. And then which one do you think is going to lose first? Well, I'm going to go a little hedge here and tie between the Texans and Arizona Cardinals. I think they both lose in two weeks. I think they get by their, their tests against the Rams and Jets this next week. But in two weeks, they both go down. I'll say it that way. I wouldn't be stunned if Greg Zerline kicked 10 field goals <laughs> next week and the Rams give the Cardinals their first loss. That would loss. do it. <laughs> Let us know what you think about this game time decision, which undefeated team loses first, and which one can go the longest staying undefeated. Be sure to comment on our YouTube page and go to our website at ProFootballWeekly.com.